eye for potential. It's many things. In each artwork you're going to see some potential. I think in its core it's quite an optimistic term. You can also look for things which are sustainable to use. Seeing of the mind, you know, not only the seeing of the physical eye. A blank canvas. What potential do I have? There's room for interpretation. Seeing beyond what normal people can see. It's an eye for potential. It has potential. The ultimate dream for any artist is to win the Sasso competition. There will probably be some disbelief to an extent. You get the exposure. I'll just be happy if I get into the competition. Money always helps. You can maybe set up a studio. Being part of the exhibition is already a great experience. Sure, that would be incredible. A torch to move forward. It will mean a lot to me because I collaborated on this piece with my girlfriend. Like I would be stoked if, if I won or just even placed. Winning the whole competition could be a life, life changing thing. I'll probably pass out. <laughs> My work is mainly based on the speciality of death and loss from a personal experience. It's called uh, summer and what I try to do with my work is um, make whatever that memory was in that specific photograph come to life. My medium is wool and wire. Very feminine and I want to touch into the issues of women in the country and I also think that it's about time we change mediums and also move from traditional things into a new medium. The title is Conversing with the Self. It's a video piece so it's like I've used my body and stuff in the video piece. I'm just like I just want to enter and see you know you can only try. Recording. It's something very personal. It's my own hair um, that I collect. Take the bath ritual. I collect samples of hair. I make string of it and that goes on the bobbin. I use the weaving method to create a timeline of it. This artwork will never stop and eventually it will even go grey. Instead of using ordinary paint I decided to go for food colouring just to explore it as a potential a medium for future use. And then instead of using the normal frame for wood, I opted to use wool. It's a digital work, poster method, sort of print media. Products are advertised. Models are not kind of human, they're just photoshopped creatures. Uh, this is oil painting on, on canvas. The title of this one is uh, Dagamin. It's a selection of the full body of work. It was more about the message behind it um, because the works are about various stereotypes about identity, how people perceive. It's ceramic stoneware. It's a feminism piece, but it's also about mass production and objectification. Cast molds of my nipple and other people's nipples and just made mass produce them. Basically the same way you would mass produce objects, cheap objects. Last year I quit my day job. And now this is what I'm doing. Uh, I just actually, I decided to call it Untitled because I just couldn't decide on a title. I use a medium called pyrography, drawing with fire. I have a lot of personal history in, in the medium. If you know me, you'll probably find a little piece of yourself in here. I kind of employ my father to help me set up. Yeah, it's a bit of a big job. I'm a mixed medium artist. It deals with gated communities in South Africa. So it's a combination of animation, 3D work, and 2D uh, graphic work. I'm a bit excited and nervous as well. I'm so glad that I got here in time. I'm a little nervous to be honest, man. It's amazing. It opens so much. Nervous and excited at the same time. This is the first time that I'm entering. It's pretty exciting.